Presenting Who Knew. Brought to you by Toyota. Let's go places. The arrival of autumn means school is in session. And clearly, someone in the athletic department at the University of South Carolina needs to enroll in a spelling class. That's because during the football team's opening game, the school's name was spelled incorrectly on one of the players' jerseys. The second A in Carolina was missing. And unfortunately, spelling mishaps have been around for decades. In the 1960s, the Chicago White Sox became one of the first teams to put player names on the back of their jerseys. Soon afterwards, first baseman Ted Klazuski discovered that the K in his name had been replaced with an X, and the Z was displayed backwards. Even Hall of Famers aren't immune. Wayne Gretzky is probably the best-known hockey player ever. But in 1997, the New York Rangers somehow managed to misspell his name on his game jersey. Sometimes the mistake isn't about what's written, it's where it's written. This past April, the Lakers retired Shaquille O'Neal's number. But when the jersey was hung up in the Staples Center, fans realized the team had put his name and number on the front of the jersey, rather than the back, where it belongs. All of which should make the equipment manager at the University of South Carolina feel a little less embarrassed about his mistake. And since South Carolina won the game, maybe the typo is a good luck charm that's here to stay. Tomorrow on Who Knew, find out about Most Expensive Bridges. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.